Alright folks, look. Mercury's in retrograde. We all know this is not going to be a good episode. What's this up, is... gamers? <laughs> What's up, gamers? Mercury's in retrograde. <laughs> um, yeah, so probably not going to be a good episode. You don't need to listen. But if you are listening... Hello. Hello. Um, this is Bad Boy Crimes. Speaking, and we will discuss... speaking of a crime... Okay. Um, I watched In the Heights last okay. weekend. Linford Manual. I, dude, I'm like probably not the only person, but like it's doing well on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like 97 the last time I checked. I mm-hmm. assume it's probably dropped a little bit, but um, people like this movie and I really don't. People also loved Hamilton when it came out. And I know people In the Heights still is older. Like, a lot of people like have Hamilton. turned on Hamilton. A lot of people have turned on it. I like, think you, know what, this you can turn on Hamilton because like, from like a historical context. The it's, colonizers, right? Yeah, like it, it has not aged well in the, no, in the, in the last age couple of Black years. Lives Matter. No. Whereas In the Heights doesn't have the same. Like it's ju- It just feels like... Um, like exoticizing like this ethnic urban fantasy for white people i don't even know if any of those words that i just said are like real no um or if it made sense but that's what it feels it feels like i was watching it i was like am i am i gentr like i feel like i'm participating in gentrification and cultural appropriation i don't even fucking yeah, like probably the movie. like yeah, it probably. felt so packaged for white people i don't um, know if people know what in the heights is do people know it's Lynn Manuel Miranda's thing before Hamilton. Um, he he got four Tonys for it. It's about Washington Heights, about how it's. I don't know the original musical, so I don't know how much different the um, the, film. the movie is. But the it's picture. about Washington Heights, basically like being gentrified and people leaving, um, and that's basically it. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of plot. Uh, which is it's a musical so you know i think that's to be expected um but i don't like i don't like lin-manuel's writing like moana look moana's good moana is good and that's the only thing i'll give him credit for i really do not like i did not know that he was uh, he was the one behind the songs in 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 moana which i really songs are good they're good songs i wish he wasn't because my argument would be stronger if (laughs) I don't know. I just don't like his sing song like rap. Well, the he's not raps, a like, good the, the rhymes performer. Are weird. He's not a good performer. Well, luckily he's only in it a little bit. He's not like the main guy. He's still in the movie as a guy who sells snow cones. Um, and he has a song and he has no connection. I mean, there isn't a plot, but he's like not even connected to any of the main characters. All he just shows up in the middle of the movie. He's like, I make snow cones. And he has a whole little song and dance for it's a real it. Jim Jarmusch move. Uh, I made. I don't, I don't understand that reference. But um, one person will probably get it. Okay, well, I'm referencing Ghost Dog: The Way of the Samurai in particular. <laughs> Feels like a Nick Oldershaw reference. I feel like I think he would that. get it. Yeah, he's watched basically every movie. Uh, he's not listening to this though. No, no. he is not. Um, yeah, yeah, so uh, it's bad. It was way okay. too long. Um, the main girl was very hot, uh, and I wish she was. That's real. probably why it's got a ninety-seven. No, I, I think that was the only reason why I was like, not not that I was I was disliking the movie, but I was like, I do like her. Yeah, because um, she looks exactly like every other person I I think is attractive. <laughs> it's it's basically like one kind of person. That's what she looks like. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, songs were... So if you look like that, DM the Bad Boy Crimes pod on Twitter. Yeah, if you look like the main girl from In the Heights, slide into those DMs. And if you're listening to this and you're like, yeah. Yeah. This is... this. These guys are fine. (laughs) Even if you think we're not fine. Yeah. Go ahead. 
take a chance. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> We're probably better than you think based on this podcast. I think for sure. For sure. I, I, can, I can at least speak for myself in that I am not as bad as I come off. Or as yeah. good sometimes. It really depends. Uh, That's true. I've been, would, on better, I've been on better behavior recently. I agree with that sentiment. How about Lynn manuel Samantha? We, we've all seen Sex in the, the city, city, right, folks? Yeah, folks, that's, that was a Sex in the City reference and not anything else. <laughs> and, yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoops. You're like, he's been Trigger. on his good behavior. Let's uh, change gears. Let's throw a wrench into yeah. things. I believe, um, as far as movies are concerned, I know I watched this new film. I can't say the same for you or your wife. Um, no, I, I, I actually did not make time uh, to watch that film. I, was, I did try. It was good, man. Uh, well, then we get, we don't actually. There's not really much to spoil with it. Yeah, so there's not really like a whole I, lot to talk about. I would love to talk about it. I saw the first uh, like six minutes of it. And then um, it was great. Life got in the way, but it seemed very interesting. Um, I just really like. I mean, the story's like solid. Uh, can we just back? We're talking about Luca. Oh yeah, 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 right. Yeah, I forgot we didn't even name the movie. We didn't even name it. Uh, <laughs> Luca from Pixar, which I've mentioned to a couple people, being like, "I'm going to watch Luca," and then I didn't. Um, and then everyone's like, "What is that?" Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody has to heard of it. Have terminal Disney brain. Yeah, or I um, guess be into movies. I don't know. I don't know if you like Pixar. Are you into movies? They kind of make movies for everybody. Yeah. Well, I mean, like into movies in that you know movies are coming out, not necessarily. Yeah, that I being guess. In, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, or if like you're on the Disney Plus app because you're watching Loki, which also pretty good. I was yeah. shitting on the other Marvel shows this year, but I, Loki, I think, might actually stay good the whole way through. It's only based been two on episodes. two episodes, yeah. But I, it it feels like there's more money thrown at it and like more care than the other that's, two. That's possible. Which is sounds like also like likely. That's not just me. Like, yeah, like you don't want to throw all your money at the first thing. Mm-mm. No, and it it feels I don't know. Owen Wilson's a big get for somebody who's originally not in the MCU at all. You know, Owen Wilson. You know, he kind of rules. I don't know that that's true. I'm, he might. I'll, he might. <laughs> you're like I think he's kind of the worst. Actually, I'm I'm trying to think of what I've seen him in because it's been a long time since it he's... has been. It's been a minute. Uh, it has been a minute. So I'm like racking my brain for Owen Wilson films. I got Drill Bit Taylor and I got Shanghai Noon. He's in that one movie in Paris. Um, the one with Kanye West and Jay-Z that I can't talk about. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't believe Owen Wilson is in that. Um, it's, like, in... it's like a Woody Allen movie or something, right? Midnight in Paris? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Right? I don't know. What's Broadway it? Danny Rose? That was 2011. I feel like that came out. The yeah, that was, that was Owen Wilson. What else has Owen Wilson been in recently? Let's, let, we're we're going to do a deep dive into his Wikipedia, folks. He kind of strikes me. Stuff. Yeah, he stopped doing stuff, but he also kind of strikes me as like a, oh, he was in Zoolander. Zoolander's good. Okay, he hasn't been in anything, not counting 2021. Um, he, he hasn't been in anything since 2017, because I guess he's the voice of Lightning McQueen, which I did not oh, know. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I knew that. I forgot um, that that movie existed. Yeah. All, and then he was in Wonder movie. with that. The, I don't know what that was. Some stupid movie. Uh, I, he was in I Bliss. Know which, do not know it comes out in this year it came out this you gotta year. be you gotta be a real movie buff to know these things it's an amazon movie so i guess that's why oh, yeah, no yeah. one's heard of it and the french dispatch which oh this is this is gonna come out later okay that's a wes anderson movie so he's, he's doing a trailer. renaissance 
He's coming back. Yeah, he was in a documentary in 2019. Okay, this is like uh, McConaughey in like 2011 or whatever. Yeah. Well, watching him in Loki, I was like, you know what would be great? Owen Wilson in True Detective. Yeah. Which is bit kind of what Loki sort of is, other than like there's being Marvel stuff infused into it. It kind of feels like Owen Wilson True Detective for like teens. But I would yeah. like Owen Wilson sure. True Detective for the big boys. Owen Wilson is fine. Yeah. I don't know. He's he's probably fine without being in movies anymore. I'm sure he made enough money. Yeah, I mean, I, I think whatever he's doing now is just for funsies. Yeah. Which is good. It's good to have that, something. That's where you want to be. Yeah. In a lot of ways, we're doing this podcast for funsies. <laughs> In every way, we have not. <laughs> this podcast has cost me more money than it's made. <laughs> yeah, probably. So um, well, I have to. I have to host it, which costs money. True. Um, and I had to buy a new microphone. So, fucking. But, I mean, the, uh, the audio quality is great now. Yeah, so the podcast sounds just <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that was nice. It was real subtle. Uh, anyway, Luca is what we're talking about. Uh, Italian boy who is a sea monster, um, which is the action figure to dolls of mermaids. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. Like, you know, when it's like, it's an action figure. It's not a doll, mom. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, this is for yeah. boys. This is for boy mermaids. This It kind of had a little bit of some... Little Mermaid vibes for boys, and like there's no romantic any tone sort of thing. I've, I've noticed that like Disney Pixar are kind of doing that lately. Like Moana, there's no romantic subplot at all. There isn't. There wasn't one in Raya either, unless you. Yeah. Although there was a little like more than just friends vibe between like the two main girls, not the dragon and Raya, but Raya and this other girl. Okay. Um, I, I know people Raya, online ship will. those two characters. Uh, Raya was also good. I like Luca more. Luca's a better movie. And visually, it's just so interesting that... I mean, not interesting. It's nice that Pixar slash Disney are like making a movie that looks different than any of the other movies that they've made. Because they all kind of look the same. And Luca at least has a little texture to it. A little, um, a little spice great. thrown in there. I didn't notice that in the first five minutes. It did look very nice. I was like, damn, this is UHD. I think it's just the pe- the people look different than There the is typical... like a slightly different style. Yeah. They it, didn't it's look not like huge. the old... No. <laughs> it it's, looks a Like they different. didn't look... Uh, like the old man in the beginning did not look like the man from Up. And I was yeah. like, you know what? Good for them. Good. Um, I like Pixar. I think yeah, they've fine. sort of fallen off. I think they're coming back. At least I like Soul and I like Luca. And it's those um, are the first two Pixar movies in a while where I'm like. I used to love, like, aside from the Cars franchise and the Planes franchise, um, <laughs> which, like, should not exist. Um, yeah, cars Cars, cars 1. Cars 1 is good. Cars 2 is not good. <laughs> cars 2 is pretty good. I will stand I like behind. Cars, man. I will bad. stand by Cars 1. Nobody respects Cars 1 at all. But I will stand by it. I'm like, you know what? This is this is. Sounds like he's doing cars too. People don't respect Owen Wilson. Yeah, that's that's also true. Um, I think other than that, I was like, yeah, every Pixar movie banger, absolute banger. And then like Onward kind of sucked. Soul was nice. I didn't like the ending. The ending was Um, yeah. We talked about that. Yeah, Brave. I wasn't Brave's old. The good dinosaur. The good I don't think anybody now. even watched that. No, nobody did. Um, what else has Pixar done? Wally was banger, Wally, Wally but that's two thousand eight. Yeah. Ratatouille. Ratatouille is fine. I think that's two thousand seven. Yeah. Um, I like Ratatouille. Good old Steve Jobs. Really great. Grad. He. The gl- really glad he. Um, is dead. Yeah. Toy Story 4 wasn't very good. Coco was good. Coco's um, great. 
I did not like Inside Out. I like Inside Out. I think I'm probably in the minority on that. Um, this is a true crime podcast. Yeah, this is movies. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's all fun. Finding it's Dory was bad. I didn't watch it. I used to be like, I should watch every Pixar movie. They're all bangers. And then, like, I'm not even interested in half of them, it seems. Yeah, it seems like after Toy Story 3, like, they had, like, I think two good um, movies up until, like, this year. <laughs> yeah. I think um, Pete Docter, Andrew Stanton. I think those two Who were, are like... They? They're like the. Uh, he's a, the Pete Doctor is a CEO, CCO. Yeah, uh, he he did a lot of the early Pixar's. I think he wrote Wall-E and Monsters Inc. and Toy Story One. Yeah, or Toy Story One was written by Joss Whedon or something. I don't know, but um, he was the mind behind a lot of them. Wasn't John and Lasseter canceled? I I'm unaware of that, but I, I like John Lasseter. I'll stand by him, whatever he did. You know, uh, well, he, he, a, he, a he, yeah, in 2017, this kind of makes sense. He took a six month sabbatical uh, because there was some sexual misconduct towards employees. And then uh, then he left the company in 2018. All right. I stand by him. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, don't, don't touch people ever. It's a panorama. It's, it, is there. A bad, it is a bad call. It was a bad call. Yeah. Uh, Somebody else said it was a panor- panorama to me the other day. It's good. I heard someone say pandem, and I was like, don't. No, 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 that's bad. You're not that guy, pal. You know that? <laughs> I hope nobody's that guy. That guy sucks. <laughs> that guy does suck. Um, yeah. It's all fine. Okay. Pixar... Um, you're missing that the joie de vivre that you had in the in the 2000s. In the good old days, when you're when the visual quality of your movies kind of sucked, which in, only in retrospect they looked fine at the time. I still think like the later to that, like Wally holds up visually. I think. Oh yeah, Wally looks great. I think it's just That's their people ugly. look bad. Yeah, like a Bug's Life looks fine because they're not people. Yeah, but like The Incredibles one looks horrible. Toy Story One, the people are pretty bad. Yeah, they could they could not nail down people until Toy Story Three. I think really set the bar. Yeah, yeah, the people in that were fine. I forgot that they had some people in there. Oh yeah, there's lots of people. Yeah, there's so many people. There's too many people, dude. There's some there's some hot people, some hot bays downtown today when I was dropping off some friends, um, and I was like, Did man, I should hang in? out. I should hang out downtown more often yeah uh which i won't do. will not i will yeah. not do that i'm not it was so crowded i like was i drove over a bridge like where people are paddle boarding and there was just like a huge mass of people like i could not tell individual people apart just in this one fork in the river just hundreds of people on paddle boards all like touching each other and i was like what yeah, the not... fuck are they doing like are they banging all yeah. in, like a big i don't know how that's fun for anybody no paddleboard like doing stuff on the water is fun mostly when no one else is there yeah that's why you're on the water <laughs> there's so <laughs> getting much away water from so... people on the land <laughs> you belong on land you go to the water to be away from everyone yeah yeah that's unless you wanna... are a sea monster and then you go on land, and that's the plot of Luca. Yeah. Does he brush his hair with a fork or something? No, he doesn't do that. Um, no. Right. Though he does have trouble getting his hand head around the concept of a fork. So I'm glad. A little throwback. A little throwback. You know, The Little Mermaid's good. It's. I don't like Ariel. I think she's an idiot. She's not the good part of the movie. That's fair. I think the songs are good. The songs are, there are some good songs. Um, Not all of them, but some of them are very good. Er, I like, Uh, do you like Ursula's song? Ursula's good in general, I think. Yeah, she's Uh, Poor Unfortunate Souls is good. Flotsam and Jetsam are great. Good characters. In many ways, we are kind of like Flotsam and Jetsam, but we don't have Ursula. (laughs) 
We need an Ursula, folks. If you want to be Ursula for this podcast, in whatever way you choose to interpret that, slide into those DMs. Yeah. And we'll if you look like it. the main girl from In the Heights or the main <laughs> the or main villain from, from Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Slide into those DMs. Um, either way. Make sure you specify which one. Actually, either, don't. It would be more fun. Either way, we will probably have you on the podcast. Yeah. If you're a squid of any kind, any kind of... Um, what's the fucking word? Cephalopod? Uh, cephalopod, yeah. If you're a cephalopod of any kind, come on the show. Defend yourself. I know you're big into... Um, I'm big into the squids. Yeah. But you, you've never played Splatoon. Curious. Yeah. Um, Splatoon strikes me as um, very daunting. It's not. I'm daunted uh, by more than one mechanic. Well, like, you don't like being... You, you want to either be a squid or be a kid. You don't want to do both. Well, like, the, the mechanics are... It's like a... It's a third-person shooter, but also there's going underground being a squid. And that's too much. It's, it's like it's really it's not like why bad. I can't play Fortnite. Fortnite's fine. I can't do building. building. Well, here's the thing: I can't do building. If you've watched my streams, I you can probably count on one hand how many times I've built anything. Yeah, you and can it's also never count in combat. On one hand. You can also count on one hand how many times you've won. That's not true. <laughs> that's no, that's not true. I won five in my first time playing, and I've won more than that since then. So boom, right. that's at least two hands. Fair enough. I've only seen you win once. True. It, it seems to be once every other stream, which is still not that bad. Not bad. I get pretty close to winning a lot. Look, uh, I'm a pro gamer. I, I make money through gamer. gaming. So That's true. You've made more money on that. Well, well, I haven't technically made anything yet because I haven't gotten a check. You have, but you have potential. Yeah. I, I will eventually get a $100 check one way or the other from... The folks yeah, if, at you, if you have to subscribe Amazon. to yourself, a couple. Times. I don't think they don't. I don't think they want me doing that. I haven't done that yet because I don't no. want to get in trouble and have it then revoke something I worked so so hard to get. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not a gamer. I can't. I can't do. You should get more Splatoon than one mechanic, shot, man. At least wait for Splatoon three to come out. It's yeah, it, it's really not that bad, and it's it's pretty fun. It's a fun game. And there's a story oh. mode for you to get used to everything. It's not just oh, that's multiplayer. Good. Yeah. I'm very bad at multiplayer in general. It's what I like though is at least if you're playing casual, the game's just about not really about shooting other people. It's about just covering more side of the map with your color than the enemy color. So you don't I even like really that. have to fight anybody. You can just I like that. You can just be painting. I like painting. Yeah. And that I like I like doing that sometimes and just not focusing on killing people. And that you can win just doing that and not really giving shit about the other people. Yeah. All right. I'll look into it. Look into I it. I like squids. I think a lot of um like the only thing separating deep sea life from being aliens is that they live on Earth, you know? Yeah. That would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> like if you if if like grizzly bears did not exist on Earth, mm-hmm. and we send Curiosity over to Mars, and you see a grizzly bear, you'd be like, "How did that get there?" You're like, that, that, thinks, that could have been on Earth. Why is it not here? Yeah, or maybe but, it was, and then it left. Yeah, you're like, "How did that? That doesn't. That shouldn't be there. That doesn't make sense." But it's true. If you see like a, an octopus on Mars, and octopuses didn't exist on Earth, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's for an sure. Alien. Yeah, okay. that's an alien." Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I see where you're coming from. I, and I think that's a being lot of snarky. Yeah, I think it's a lot of, like the the angler fish. You just got a fucking uh, light bulb on your head. I don't like no, those. They not real. Weird. That's not real. Narwhals. Nobody believes that they're real, and I think those people are right. Are narwhals like mammals? Yeah, they're they're a so type they're of fine. whale. They're fine. They count. I I, I don't count, count mammals in any capacity as aliens but yeah like any deep sea critter uh the the mantis shrimp first of all not a shrimp why what uh, is it 
It's it's like a crustacean. It looks like a, a crab or a lobster or something. Uh, okay. People uh, call it a shrimp. That that's its official name, I think, is the the mantis shrimp. Um, not a real thing, in my opinion. Okay. Like well, you haven't have, seen one, so who's to say? It's, it's true. Else is lying. Uh, I think like humans have like seven cones in their eyes, so you yeah. can see seven colors or whatever. Um, they have like twenty-two cones in their eyes. Oh, I've actually read something that debunked the the number of colors that they can see. It's actually not quite what I, I think that, that you've been misinformed because uh, my thing I indicates that my my information indicates okay. that they're an <laughs> alien, and I stand by that. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're saying they're aliens, then I guess I can't. Yeah. I can't argue with somebody when they're talking about aliens because it's they're true. not going to listen to anything else. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have not heard that being debunked, but I would believe it. But for this bit, sure, um, yeah, for the bit, yeah, they're they're they can see every color yeah, that we yeah. can't. Yeah, they can see radio waves. No, that's interesting. <laughs> I keep doing yeah. faces and shit. No one sees yeah. them. One day we'll do. I thought it was a very funny face. One day we'll do a video episode. I'm a funny guy. It's true. Yeah. You're the funny one, and I'm the curmudgeon. No, I'm. I think we're both funny. <laughs> Thank you. And then um, we can both be curmudgeonly in different ways, depending on. Although I don't think either of us have been a curmudgeon recently. I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. I've been chilling, sort of. No, I yeah. have been. I have been. I'm going to give that to myself. All right. Uh, what else has happened recently? I got a figurine. Um, I'm staring at it right now. I technically got two in the last week, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Um, um, speaking of things that have happened recently. Really? I have heard of a crime that <gasps> happened recently. Oh, we're going to do the thing. <laughs> we're going to do the thing. Um, I have decided. Like we're getting it's close time. to the halfway point. We got to. Get we're to getting the close to the halfway point, and we've really been struggling. <laughs> I think no, we really we're stumbled through media. Luca. Yeah, well, we stumbled through. I Luca. feel like this podcast must be a nightmare to listen to if you don't have ADHD. Oh yeah, because if you do, I think that train of thought that we went through earlier probably makes some sense. If you're a normal person trying to listen to that, good lord, I can't imagine what like, a nightmare that is. What the is. fuck are these people like, talking about? Like, how do they keep changing gears? Like, where are they going? And it's like, no, 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 no. you're just. It makes we sense. talked about Luca for eight seconds. We're like, what's Owen Wilson's fucking filmography look like? <laughs> yeah, and that made sense in my brain. I was a hundred steps ahead of you, and you're yeah. just dumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm on board with it. I just, I'm not a fan of Owen Wilson. I don't think, but maybe I will be. I think you will be watching if you watch at Loki. I think you will be. All right. Um, anyway, old man. <laughs> There's an old man who committed a crime. Is it the old man and and the sea? Yes. This is um, the sea is an accomplice. Her. What the fuck is that guy's name? Hemingway. Hemingway yes. wrote that. I won't. I kept wanting you to say. Um, Fitz, Whatever. F. Scott Fitzgerald, no. No. That was, a, that was the great Gates speech. Herman Melville is who I wanted to say. Really? But I, I knew that was incorrect, but that's what was... I don't even know who that is. He wrote Moby Dick. Oh. Call Me Ishmael. White Whale. Call Me By Your Ishmael. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we've, we've done it again. We've ADHD <laughs> immediately after calling it out. Uh, so, 88-year-old man. Now could be a nazi dog whistle let's not put it past him <laughs> let's not put it past him to legally change his age to <laughs> signal to his fellow white supremacists i mean were you really born in 1933 who what kind of that's not how, a real how are you year? just gonna be born in 1933 <laughs> that's not a real year um yeah so could be a nazi dog whistle you know what else happened in 1933 is. The I, was, I was sort of leaning towards World War II, which I think was later. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, <laughs> was the Dust Bowl. But we're doing it again! <laughs> Jesus. Um, I hope it was 1933. I feel very smart. It, uh, 1930s. That counts. Nailed it. 
Nailed it. Nailed exactly. It. I know my American history, folks. <sighs> All right. Anyway, I, this old guy, this old bitch. This, what did this, he do? This old man. Um, he <laughs> allegedly. Well, this is a very recent crime. This is May twentieth, twenty twenty one. Yeah. Um, also, happy Juneteenth. We're recording this ha- on Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. <laughs> is that something you say? Do you say Happy Juneteenth? I, I don't think know. you only get to say Happy Juneteenth if you are giving money to black people. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I think that you're just you're being snarky, <laughs> folks. Um, I would never. <laughs> Folks, uh, leave milk and cookies out for Harriet Tubman tonight. This- <laughs> okay, that's way worse. <laughs> that's way worse. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was trying. I mean, sort of trying to be respectful by just yeah. paying, paying mind, just to the acknowledging day. it. Yeah, I appreciate that. I forgot to acknowledge it entirely. So. Yes, this is Juneteenth. Team Snapchat informed me that it was Juneteenth, <laughs> which I thought was very strange. I saw um, an Ask Reddit thread that was like, how do you feel about Juneteenth being a federal holiday? And all of the comments were like, it's been announced three hours ago, and I've already got an email from my boss saying we do not get it off. <laughs> <laughs> so, very cool. Yeah. Uh, so this old man, he allegedly feels tickled. After murdering his roommate, um, this is roommate his wife. That <laughs> would be very funny. Uh, so Larry Shaw, look him up, fucking Larry Shaw, this old Nazi, perhaps uh, murderer. Um, so he killed his younger roommate, Kenny Barnes, R.I.P. Um, now, so Larry Shaw, uh, who's an American physicist, I don't think it's him. No, I don't believe that it's that man. Um, following uh, years, huh. yeah, I was sorry, I was going to get to that. Um, so he lives in. It's fine. He's he's a real Jason Bateman, Julia Garner type. That's the two I'm, people. I'm the guy who in season three that some people think I look like him. Uh, ben. All right. Is the name yeah. of the character. Sure. One listener of this podcast had to stop watching season three of Ozark because it was too freaky. Mm, sorry Fun to hear fact. that. But you, I that's, mean, uh, right. you know, perhaps you could kickstart your Hollywood career as a stunt double or a leading man. Who's to say? I think I could be a leading man. I, I think you could be the energy. third lead in a comedy. I could be a part of an ensemble cast and I would be, and I would be one of the ones that doesn't get a lot of screen time, but people are like a big fan of for no reason in particular. I'd yeah. Be one of those favorites. And people like, would be like the Why Boba you Fett of a life? comedy. I would be the Boba Fett of a comedy. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that could be your Twitter or your Tinder bio. <laughs> I could be the Boba Fett. Of Not to a, say that I am. I just could be. I could be the Boba Fett of a a middle budget comedy. <laughs> I film. could be a, the Boba Fett of a bad season of Survivor. <laughs> you get voted out first, but but man, boy, I you, got some fans. Boy, <laughs> you affable. Um, so, following years of apparent contemplation, eighty-eight year old Ozark man murdered a man he disliked his roommate we've all been uh, there yeah it's first degree murder bud um so his roommate 52 a little yeah. weird bit of an age gap there this is gonna uh, link kenny back barnes. to pride month <laughs> <laughs> kenny barnes um so larry shaw lived with kenny barnes for six or seven years they're not they're not specific um Court documents indicate that Larry told investigators he was tired of Kenny Barnes' vulgar language. Yeah, what kind of language was he saying? Probably said the F word a couple times. But I mean, he's fifty-two. N-word? Who's to say? Maybe that. Maybe maybe I was too too quick to judge old Larry. Maybe he was doing a social justice. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like his roommate sucked, and 
<laughs> he was vulgar. The roommate is the bad boy of the week. That's the twist. Uh, police said Shaw told them he had enough after Barnes told him to do some chores. So Larry Shaw, he's 88 years old. You're, you don't tell an 88-year-old man to do chores. Even why if you are his roommate. Why don't you fucking do a little vacuuming? Um, <laughs> Kablam! <laughs> so uh, after that, uh, Kenny Barnes told this old man, 88 years young, to do some chores on a Wednesday morning. Come on. Give him a break. Wednesday. Oh, no, Wednesday's not a day for chores. <laughs> if it was a Sunday in the morning, Wednesday afternoon, okay, maybe. You're fucking eight a.m. Hey, buddy, let's fucking dust the ceiling. Maybe let him have a coffee first, or whatever the fuck <laughs> old people drink in the morning. Let him read the newspaper. Yeah, do do fucking uh, crossword puzzle. That's what old yeah. people do. Yeah, probably. Um, so he got his handgun. And waited in his lazy boy for three hours. That rules. <laughs> he's just just sitting he's, in a lazy. He's like, boy. I ain't gonna. Do, I have time to do these chores. I ain't gonna fucking do them. I'm a man of principle. Um, so he just like put the gun in the cushions of the couch, and he's just like just biding his time. Joe um, Biden his time. I was gonna say that, and I was like, you know what? Don't do it. Don't bring <laughs> politics into this. Very famously a political podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So so then he, he just fucking ices his roommate. Just fucking domed him. Uh, I don't know if it was a headshot, but we'll probably. Say it is. I would assume this, this, I mean, he's 88. He was probably in World War II, right? Yeah. He probably lied to get enlisted. The fifteen-year-old in the Korean War. Um, I don't, who's, who cares? Whatever. Who's to say? Maybe he was on Pork Chop Hill. You can't. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> there's a movie called Pork Chop Hill about the Korean War. I assume there's a relevant landmark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a little problematic. Uh, I don't know. I just thought that look, was a weird name for a hill. <laughs> look, Mercury's in the Gatorade. I can't. I gotta drink oh, man, Powerade. Gatorade sounds really good right now. Uh, I need some electrolytes in my in my brain. Yeah. I gotta get vaccinated tomorrow, dude. Um, oh, I can't wait to hear how that goes. Yeah, it's gonna suck. If you get if you get the the, the shakes, the itis. I I might. Um, I thought that I was booking an appointment for next month. Turns out it was for Sunday. Uh, so I, I, I didn't really want it to be this Sunday, but that's fine. Um, so he fucking domes his roommate with his handgun. Yeah. And then uh, the cops come because they're like, hey, buddy, um, you can't somebody's dead. <laughs> You can't do. You can't. I don't know if you. I don't know if. I don't know if you've heard, but uh, crime's illegal, buddy. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So uh, they arrest him, and uh, good old Larry. He was like, "I'm glad he's dead," and uh, once he's buried, I'm going to piss on his grave. So, you know, for an old man. Well. I don't know that he's done that yet. Uh, he uh, got his mug shot, and he, he's making a face in his mug shot like, yeah, I know what I did. You can't stop me. He's like, I'm 80 what are you gonna years do? old. Who fucking cares? What are you going to do? Put me in jail for fucking eight months before I die? Who cares? Uh, I've lived my I life. Up does not have anything about oh, it. doesn't have his mug shot? I'm on, I'm on oxygen.com. Oh, yeah, I was on uh, KansasCity.com slash news. So I think All right. one of one of those is probably more reputable than the other. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Uh, so he's, he's making a face in his mugshot. Look it up. Larry Shaw, Ozark mugshot. You'll find it. I hope they uh, reference this in season four of Ozark. They, they probably, this is probably for the show. They probably filmed it. 
Yeah. It sounds like something someone on that show would do. They kill people for no reason. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Um, so he's being held in the Christian County Jail without bond, and he does not have an attorney for his case. So he's like, he's not even trying to defend himself at any point. Did he not ask for one? Because you, you can just ask for an attorney. And he just was yeah. like, hey. I, I think he's just like, I don't, I'll defend myself and just be like, hey, I did yeah, it. Yeah, this guy rules. Hell yeah. I did it. What are you going to do? Put me in jail. Yeah. I'm 88. I'm going to die tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to die tomorrow, but today I did not have to do the laundry. So who's, who's the real winner? Um, yeah, it's unclear if the two are related or were anything beyond roommates. So, could Happy be Pride, Pride Month. Month. And you know be. what? Because mine doesn't involve Pride Month, we're going to say your story is the Pride Month story of the week. I did it. Gay icon Larry Shaw. Or bye. <laughs> Who's to say? Who's to say? Who, why, who are we to speculate on a man's sexuality? <laughs> It just almost died chugging a two liter of Coke Zero. Okay, it's almost empty. I had a that glass. That is true. It is true, yeah. I had a glass. Uh, no, I've done the same thing. I've taken a two liter bottle, full bottle of Dr. Pepper to one of my classes in, in college once. Oh, and man. People, when I was in college. People tweeted about it. Yeah. When I was in college, um, I had one lecture, and all the all my other classes were like thirty person classes. Yeah, um, and the lecture was held right next to like an on campus store, and the only thing that the store sold really was chocolate milk by the leader. <laughs> <laughs> so, like once a week, I would go to this lecture and just have a liter of chocolate milk. Campus stores are all, they always sell just the dumbest bullshit. Yeah. I think it was just all drinks and, like, protein bars. The one by the business school just had, it had, like, a boar's head deli if you wanted, like, a sandwich. And those weren't that good. Like, I like boar's head meat fine, like, whatever. But specifically eating those sandwiches was rough. I feel like campus restaurants don't try that hard. No, they don't. They Um, have a monopoly. But they had, uh, they had Lunchables. So I would eat a lot of Lunchables in class and people would be like, how old are you? And I'm like, Ugh. good one. And chug my two liter bottle of Dr. Pepper. And then they'd be like, this guy dressed like a homeless person. Eats Lunchables. This guy and, sucks. Yeah, basically. I was yeah. not well polite. And uh, I was not well liked in college. Yeah, me neither. I was bullied a lot in college, which I was told would not happen. Yeah, that doesn't school. really happen to God. Usually people just ignore you. Um, yeah. In high school, they're like, I was bullied a lot my whole life. And in high school, they're like, look, it's not going to happen in college. Nobody cares. And I was like, okay. Hey, that's they fine. Care. They care I went to college. People were very mean to me. Um, I, was, I was suffering a, a severe eating disorder. Nice. And you know how yeah, much oh, yeah. I want to have an eating disorder. Yeah, yeah. I, I had an eating disorder for most of my childhood. Like, until I was, like, 22. That's, um, I mean, that's a good age to stop having one. Yeah, I think so. I was six feet tall and, like, 120 pounds. Um, so I had to wear... Wow. Yeah, I had to wear baggy clothes my whole life because... Because nothing uh, skinny, skinny shaming, that's it was real. a big deal. It, it was still very is. real. It yeah. still is a thing for guys, not for really women. Yeah, but it is a thing for guys, and it's very serious. And um, it is very serious. If you want to talk about it, feel free to slide into my DMs, and I, I'll be there as as a support. For people. That's that's very sweet of you. Yeah. Um, only guys who are suffering only guys. from skinny shaming. Yeah. But actually, no. You know what? Body shaming in general, but for men. Okay. I'm here for you. Um, when I was in high school, I was wearing my backpack full of textbooks. Oh, and there's, oh yeah, it was bad. And I like, nobody had seen me not wearing like an XL hoodie and jeans because I was like, I can't, I can't have that in my life. Um, and then I mentioned to a group of people that I was actually like 120 pounds. Um, and they're like, no way. And 
one of the least athletic people that I've ever met yeah. just like picked me up wearing a backpack <laughs> with like six textbooks. And he's in like, it. yeah. And he's like, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I, that didn't feel good. Um, and then I was assured in college that nobody would care. And I still wore my hoodie and jeans every day because I'm, I'm smarter than that. Yeah. And then uh, I was wearing a white hoodie one day, spilled bright orange soda all over it. A little Fanta? Um, I don't remember. I think it was technically a fruit juice. It was like a Sobe, but not Sobe. Sobe? Um, Sobe's good. It's great. Great drink. <laughs> It's not uh, an ad. Yeah, not an ad. We just love the drink. We love the aesthetic of drinking a soapy. <laughs> I can't really speak to the taste or the nutrition. Yeah. yeah. But just like holding a, a half full soapy. Maybe, cool. maybe putting in a holster that you have on your hip just for soapy. <laughs> I think that would be a really nice treat. Not for any other drink. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I was drinking it and similar to just a moment ago, somebody made me laugh. And I just like threw up basically all over my my own sweater. Um, And that was at the start of a class. So I was like, okay, this is not good. I can either leave or I can just exist in my t-shirt. Yeah. And I was like, this is a year and a half into college. I think people don't care. So I took off my now ruined hoodie and... Within a minute, someone said, wow, did you grow up in the Holocaust? That's rough. Kind of funny. <laughs> it was funny, but I was like, oof, oh, rough, damn. dude. <laughs> rough. Um, and then I dropped out. So was, body shaming, very real for men. I was skinny shy. Yeah. Um, and now uh, I get bullied for being fat. So how the turn Time tables. is a flat circle. <laughs> I've never, like, there was never a year where I was not bullied, bullied for my weight. Yeah, people just like bullying. They don't, they don't really mean, care about what. They'll no, find something. No, they will find something. Yeah. So, it's fine. I'm, At least you're not you non-binary. Know. Yep. I will not, I will not co-sign that, actually. I, I, I revoke my yep. <laughs> you're like, it's Pride Month. It's Pride Month. At least for non-binary people, I'm not associated with them. Because I think I'm worse than them. Okay. Is that... Am I woke? Did I, did I do it? Sure. You know what? Yeah. You it's know fine. what? Non-binary people, they exist. And that's fine. Yep. It's, we're consistent with that bulletproof <laughs> you can say whatever you want as long as you throw they in exist. there that they exist and it's fine yeah and i'm not gonna do anything about it <laughs> okay um so my crime <laughs> i guess yep. we should get into that moving on yeah we've we've done a lot of dicking around um <laughs> I was going to say we should record a, a second episode today. That's not happening. No. <laughs> it's absolutely not happening. No. I've, um, I've, we're running on all cylinders, but that's like three cylinders <laughs> between two people. Yeah. Um, Which one of us has the two? Who's to say? It, I think it, it, we trade off. <laughs> uh, okay, so my my bad boy is a girl um okay and bad they them crimes no no i wish i tried really hard to find um find find a, a, a non-binary uh king or queen probably queen i mean let's be real um <laughs> does that does that really make sense i it does actually if you if you think about the kind of people that are non-binary um i mean they wouldn't be kings or queens they would be um we know what i'm talking about let's be real uh, earls an earl a, a duke uh a, a, a royal a prince x <laughs> a a emperor emperor but is empress is that 
can you be a female emperor or do you have to be an emperor who fucking cares i think it's like actor actress where it's like if you're serious about it you're you just say actor. You're, 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 yeah you don't yeah 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 it's like you're, you're a content creator that there's that's not binary i think it's fucked up that we change artist to content creator no 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 you're not if you say you're a content creator that means you make porn that's what I that means. I mean, YouTubers are content creators. Yeah, but they don't call themselves that. <laughs> I think they do. Maybe on like LinkedIn, but if you call yourself a content creator on like a dating app, I'm like, oh, oh on a dating only, app, yeah. you have an OnlyFans. Yeah, that's what that means. Which women who have OnlyFans exist, and that's fine. fine. And I'm not going to do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope your crime is very quick. Uh, yeah, I could make it pretty quick. Um, so, you know how Japan they love they love crimes with a person, and they have a number, and there's a certain amount of faces. So, yeah, uh, we had I'm the mystery man of twenty one faces. I'm familiar with that one. Great episode. Go back and listen to that. Um, don't listen to this one. I warned you. If you've gotten you, this I've... far, you can just you can just go back to the old one. There's 10 minutes left of this, maybe probably even like eight minutes left of this one. <laughs> we might. We Who might knows? Maybe there's up. an hour left. Probably <laughs> we <not>. just <laughs> We do the trail off ending for 45 minutes. <laughs> one of our followers just kills themselves because they can't take it anymore. Um, okay, so we have the woman with seven faces. So Ooh. typical. Typical women making seven faces for every man's 21. Gem and Gem and Gem and I. That, <laughs> you that said that over. earlier in, in the in the pre-show. It, it went over better in the pre-show. I don't I still don't get it. You say Gemini it went over is, and I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Gem and I have two faces. So it's like a Gem and Nem and Nem and I. It's extra faces. Oh. Right. I think Nem is Latin for face, right? Is that I'm know pretty know sure it is it. I'm almost entirely positive that, it's not. I don't know that the astrological signs are Latin. They are uh, Copernicus. <laughs> it's not one of them. <laughs> Copernicus. Defend yourself. <laughs> Copernicus is Latin. That is not one of. The, is not one of the astrological. No, signs. I think you just wanted Copernicus, the person, to be on the podcast. I think I meant to say Sagittarius. I think um, you, yeah, you crossed, you, you crossed the Capricorn and, and Sagittarius. Capricorn. Uh, Aquarius. There's also Pisces. These are all Latin. They're Virgo Latin. All right. Anyway, what's one of the, okay. What's well, one of the ones nobody talks about? Um, Leo. Yeah. Um, Leo is Latin. Leo is Latin for um, Libra. I also feel like no one talks about Libras. Yeah, that's true. Virgos, you hear Virgos are always fucking talking about being a Virgo. Yeah. Um, I Scorpio, know. Well, somebody always in the news. Leo. That's sad. Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, and like Aquarius are the, the top. I think. I feel like nobody's a Sagittarius. Yeah, it's a rare one. I feel like. Um, all right, can we? Can we? Continue? Yeah. <laughs> Gemini and I. Go yeah. On. All right. So uh, this is this is the story of Fukuda Kazuko. Um, Hell yeah! And is it Kazuko Fukuda? Uh, Fukuda is her surname. So it depends on how you want to read it. All right. If you're reading it the Japanese way or the American way. So Damn. when you're googling it, good luck. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling nobody has ever Googled anything that we've thought I, about. I, I think you'd be surprised. I feel like people probably, you know, they, they hear something and it sounds interesting, but we butcher explaining it, so then they look it up themselves. Which is, in we a got, way, a greater reward. Than, we gotta have somebody fact check us. We gotta have a third Mike who's just like, on this episode, you were talking about fucking a very famous crime that you had never heard of. And you just got everything wrong. And it's just like, you know, folks, if you know anything about um, the dolphin LSD guy, slide, <laughs> slide into those DMs because I, I <laughs> we, fucked that one up. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about any of these crimes, including the very <laughs> famous ones, including the one I'm talking about right now. Yeah. Um, 
So, uh, Fukuda, she was uh, a 31-year-old married mother of four. And she worked at a uh, cabaret club. Okay. As a hostess. Oh. Uh, so, like, I don't know if you are familiar or if the listeners are familiar, but they basically are, like, clubs where men go to to talk to ladies. Like, it's like you're going on a date, except that you're paying for everything and they don't love you or have any interest in you at all. Um, I thought it was about music. No, no, it has no, you're just, you're just a pretty lady that men come to, to talk to you and like, it's pay like for uh, your drinks at the place that you work at. It's like Ubering a therapist. It's like Ubering a date. Is that, there's no real Ubering involved. It's just, um, I, I just mean the, the gig economy therapist. I wouldn't even say it's like, these are like institutions. Like you go, you just, it's like going right. to see a hooker, except that it's just to talk pleasantly to a nice lady. You know what? I might do that. You no, know, I mean, if these were a thing in the United States, I at this point probably would go to these just to like, I don't know, feel something. Um, I think it's just God, like, a ho- it's, it's just Hooters. I it think. is. Ba- it is fundamentally very similar to Hooters, except they're all dressed very nice. And like you buy them drinks. Which you don't really do at Hooters. So but where's Hooters? Probably go, better should, food, dude. I should if I go to Hooters, I would fall in love with like literally the first girl that talked to me. That's, that's where I'm at. That's right rough, now. dude. Yeah, man. we got all right. We're gonna set up a Patreon. We get fifteen hundred a month. We go to Japan, and then I don't come back. We go to a maid cafe in Japan. I heard South Korea. They love Americans there. No, I won't fit in. Well, I mean, they won't know that you're Canadian. They'll just know that you're a white guy. I'm a special kind of white guy. A Canadian. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I've, I've read a sentence. Uh, <laughs> and I've got four minutes. So let's, let's go. Um, so basically... Um, you know, she, time times were tough, and she needed a little bit of a little bit of scratch. And so, um, in order to pay off some debts to some loan sharks, um, she she whacked the top earning hostess at her club. So she whacked her coworker. Um, in in a Larry Shaw kind of way, or in a cabaret sort of way. In, in a way of like, well, I'm I'm going to murder this person, not for any okay. reason other than. That that cash money, them dollar dollar bills, the financial gain. She need she you know it's four kids. You know that's not that's cheap. a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids. Um, and the reason why she now, of course, she's like, well, I am not going to jail, as most people would when they commit a crime. They're like, I I ain't going. Yeah, Larry Shaw is the exception where he's he's like, hell yeah, let's go to prison. <laughs> Let's go to prison, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, there's a whole movie about that, actually. I don't know if we've talked oh, really? about it before. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the reason why she particularly didn't want to um, go to prison is that she had already been to prison. Mm. Uh, she had a rough life. And earlier... She's her, aware of the uh, the downfalls of prison. She, You're telling me, man. It's not um, all hanging out with Will Arnett. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> she she had, she and I think um her her BF at the time had robbed a place when she was 18 and so she went to prison and uh this particular prison the Matsuyama prison um was known for where the the gangsters would pay off all the prison guards and stuff so they would basically the gangsters were running the prison and yeah. they they were drinking, they were smoking They were gambling. They were just kind of cruising around all over the place. Uh, And all of that up until that sounds pretty cool. Um, Yeah. But this kind of prison housed um, both genders, apparently. So those gangsters also... A little bit handsy, you might They, they, uh, uh, according to this article raped the female prisoners and okay, it's um, a little bit worse than being handsy. a little bit worse yeah 
and our and Fukada Kazuko was one of the victims. So pretty good reason to uh, not want to go to jail. Um, yeah. Granted, I think just not murdering somebody would be the best way to do that. Um, but okay. And also, they never I mean, even... Sometimes, I mean, take a lesson from Larry Shaw. Sometimes you just got to dome a bitch. <laughs> yeah, or stra- well, she. Uh, you don't really dome people in Japan because they don't really have guns. Yeah, um, sometimes you got to... Strangle a hoe. Just yeah. very, very cold. Just strangle somebody. Um, but yeah, the, the police... There, there was like an investigation into the prison in the 60s, but uh, they never really did anything about it. Um, and yeah, so the Japanese government and the police are actually like pretty kind of corrupt. So even though they have very little crime there, uh, but enough for me to keep pulling true crime stories from Japan. So what can you do? Um, so Fukuda was like, I ain't going to jail. I ain't going back to jail. Yeah. As many people have said. And so she got her husband to get rid of the body and then moved all of the uh, furniture in the, the lady's apartment that she murdered into a different apartment in an attempt to make the woman's disappearance look like a uh, yonige, uh, which means night flight, uh, which apparently means running away under cover of night, usually to avoid one's creditors. So I guess she was uh, making she was it look like this person those... ran away. Yeah. Yeah, okay. in other words. I'm glad I read all of that from this article from unseenjapan.com. <laughs> in case you want to read it. So this um, is what we're talking about, folks. These crimes are unseen by the public. That's yeah. what we bring you. We, we bring you crimes that no one has talked about on a podcast before. Uh, like Casey Anthony. <laughs> but it, it, not only did she move... Um, the lady stuffed to a different apartment. She moved it into an apartment that that lady had shared with her like boyfriend. Um, So of course the police kind of like figured out what was going on uh, pretty quickly. And, and that's that. No, it keeps going. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. So she, she took about 6,000 bucks um, and fled the town. And then, um, See, as in Japan, the statute of limitations is for only 15 years, uh, at least at the for time murder? this happened. For murder, yeah. Um, not anymore, but okay. at the time there was only a 15-year statute of limitations. Okay. So she was like, I don't have to run forever. Just got to make it 15 years. <laughs> that's, that's doable. There's a lot of people in Japan. And now here's the thing. She almost did it. She almost got away with it. Um so she would basically um, go uh, to Osaka just to call her family, and she would do this in order to like have them track her calls to Osaka, where she had, she like didn't live there, but she would take trains there just to like just make to it throw off the trail exactly. And then also, which is why she's the woman with seven faces, she went under like a ton of plastic surgery. Um, like she just kept getting facial reconstruction to look like different people. Um, she remarried, even though she had her old family and four kids. Um, I thought she was doing this for the kids. Yeah. I think she kind of got lost in the bit. (laughs) (laughs) She She really didn't want to go back to jail. Um, we've all been there. Yeah. Like I would do anything for my kids. Like, would you... (laughs) Would you uh, start a second family? (laughs) Would you risk going to jail? Oh, fuck no. Um, Yeah. I mean, eventually, after doing this for fucking who knows how long, um, the relatives of, I guess, the family she married, the new family she married into, like, caught on and reported to the police. But she was able to dip out of that before the police got her. Um, And, like, just before her... the statute of elimination on our crime is about to expire. Um, she was at a, like an Odin shop, which I think is like a, a, a noodle shop, I think. Yeah. Some yeah, sort yeah. of thing. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically recognized her as resembling uh, like the fugitive that 
people would talk about on TV. So the the shopkeeper worked with the police to get fingerprints from her, like from her, like drinking from a beer bottle, and then they uh, they got her. I think she was she was on the run for like thirteen ish years. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Like that's kind of impressive. And Japan's not a big place. No, but there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people for how small it is. That is true. So there we go. I think that was a decent story. I don't think that was that bad. That's good. Went a little over, Uh, but what else? When 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 was this? Um, roughly. Roughly. Give me a rough estimate. I don't know. I looked it up. The article itself didn't say when it happened, but uh, well, she died in two thousand five in prison. Okay, R.I.P. She died in prison. That's okay. So she murdered. She murdered in eighty two. Okay, and she was on the run for okay. She was on the run for fifteen years, but like not exactly fifteen because statute of limitations. So like fourteen and some change. So that would get um, her into the 90s, right? Yeah. Yeah. How much money do you think she got? You think it was worth it? Uh, I, mean, I don't know how she kept affording that. plastic surgery. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she didn't get that much money. I think she only took 6000 bucks with her, like that's, US dollars, which was like 600,000 yen. That's not enough. No. But she also remarried, so maybe she just lives like. I think the person she she married she into just, was very wealthy. And she obviously changed her, her name and stuff, so she was able to keep well, slinking under the radar. I, I feel like this was a misguided crime. Yeah, I mean, she really went... It was all the stuff she went through, pretty interesting, but she really just shouldn't have... Yeah, no, just like, stay with your kids. Worth. Yeah. Just stay with your kids. Just like put them to work. Yeah, it's Japan. Japan. Sell dirty underwear in a vending machine. You know, it's Japan. Yeah, you there's, could. There's an avenue for you. I mean, it was the '80s. There's a. I feel there, like there's more a ton of, There's a lot of money going through Japan in the '80s. They were. It was booming. Yeah, sure. They it invented was. hentai. At the time, probably. No, I was. That's been. That's been. That's been around for a while. It was probably the seventies. I guess it depends. I mean, if you count like those old, old paintings of like. And I'm talking samurai. Hentai. Samurai women getting octopus up. You know. I feel like the octopuses didn't come in until after 1945. No, dude, it's that shit's old. That's right. old. They've been they've been up, uh, they've been into that for they're pioneers. And we will continue this conversation next week. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.